Okay, I'm going to show you how to do ray diagram for lenses. Okay, so for this ray diagram, we will do convex. Uh, we will do a ray diagram for a convex lens. So we have our given here. The focal length is positive three centimeters. The distance of the object is two centimeters, and the height of the object is two centimeters. So for the ray diagram, first thing that you need to do is to draw a print the principal axis using your ruler. Okay. Then you need to mark the important points okay, for our ray diagram. First, of course, we have to mark the vertex or the optical center of our convex lens. Then we need to measure the following. We need to measure the focal length, which is 3 centimeters, so that we can mark our focal point or focus. So from the vertex, we can, mark, we can measure our focal length and we can mark our focal point or focus. Okay. Next, if we're going to double the value of our focal length, we get 6 centimeters. Okay. And that will mark our 2F. Okay. Our positive 2F. Or twice the focal length. Now, we have to do on the other side also. But this time, since we will choose this side, as, uh, this side of the lens as our positive side, then this side now will be our negative or virtual side. So we will do the same. We will have our virtual focal point. Okay, we're going to mark it as F prime. Okay, our virtual focal point. And if we will double our focal length, so we will have our virtual 2F. Okay, so once we have these important markings on both sides of our lens, okay, we can now draw our convex lens. Okay. Now again, it doesn't need to be perfect okay? because again, we can draw an imaginary line, a vertical imaginary line that crosses our vertex or optical center. Again, this imaginary line will serve as our guide when to bend the refracted rays. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is to measure the distance of our object, which is 2 centimeters. So from the vertex, we measure 2 centimeters, okay, and since the height of the object is given, it is 2 centimeters, so using our ruler, we can measure the, dis the height of our object. There you go. So we can use an arrow here to represent our object. So this is our object here, okay which is 2 centimeters away from the center or from the lens, okay? So for the location of our object, location of object, okay, it is actually located between the vertex and the focal point, okay? The location of our object is between the vertex and the focal point. Now, we can use three rays here okay, to find the image formed by this lens, but at least two will do, okay? So, again, we have the three known rays. We have the P, F ray. We have the F, P ray, and the V, V ray, okay? So first thing is, let's draw the PF ray. So for the PF ray, a ray that is incident, okay, and it is parallel to the principal axis. So from the head or the tip of the object, we draw a ray that is parallel to the principal axis. And it will be bended or refracted passing through our focal point here, okay? the positive focal point. So this is what it looks like for our P, F ray. For this uh, situation, we cannot use our F, P ray because our object is located between F and the vertex. So what we can do is to pair it with our V, V ray. So again, from the tip of our object, a ray that crosses or passing through, it passes through our 
vertex or our optical center. So this, so this is what it looks like for our refracted or bended ray. So as you can see, our real uh, refracted rays do not converge or merge on this side of the lens. So we have a diverging okay, uh, refracted rays here. So what we can do is to extend these refracted rays on this side of our lens. So we can extend this refracted ray. We can draw the virtual rays here. We can do dash lines. Okay, and on this for this refracted rays ray also, we can draw uh, we can extend it also. So by doing that, you observe that the virtual rays on this side of the lens converge or merge here at this point. So from this point, you use your ruler, okay to draw the image and then going to the principal axis and since the image or the converge, uh, the intersection of the virtual rays happen above the principal axis so the image will be upright so this is now our image now to describe the image here using the acronym LOST okay for the location of the image again if the image was formed on the same side where the object is located, we could say the image was formed behind the lens. And for the orientation, again, you compare the orientation of our image to the orientation of our object. It is upright. For the size of our image, it's very obvious our image is bigger compared to the size of our object. So we could say enlarge. The image is larger or enlarge. And for the type of image, since the image is upright and it was formed on the same side where the object is located, then we could say the type of image would be virtual.